Hi guys, welcome back to Simply Paletza. Today's video is obviously inspired by the gorgeous Katy Perry from her This Is How We Do video. And this is how we do, do 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 do. This is obviously not an exact replica of her look, but it is an inspired look based upon that. Oh snap. So the makeup look that I was inspired by was the one here where she's got the cornrows and she's got that green cell phone and she's like, I see you. Anyway, that was what this makeup look was inspired by. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, this is how we do. And do, 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 do. All this crazy makeup so you can feel like a crazy lady too. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. What I did first is I applied my favorite Urban Decay Primer Potion onto my lid so that nothing would crease. Basically the next thing that I'm doing is I'm taking this Maybelline color tattoo, a metallic one, and this one is in that light pink. It's called Inked in Pink, and it's a really pretty pink shimmery color, and that'll help bring out some of the shine that she has in her eye makeup look. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this pink blush here. This is a sampler from Coastal Scents. I'm gonna take that and apply it all over the lid with a fluffy brush. I'm not taking it much higher than my crease. And then to warm it up a hair, I'm gonna take this taupey type of color just to blend it up into the crease area. I am going to take this pink color here. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this, it's a cool pink, and I'm gonna apply it to the center of my lid and then blend it out with my finger. And then finally, for some fun, for the sparkles, I'm gonna take this Jessie's Girl pigment. I can't remember what the name is. I'll find out for you too and put it on my website. And I'm gonna put some MAC Fix Plus in the lid and I'm gonna foil it. In other words, I'm gonna wet in it and put it on the center of my lid. And I love pigments. They're so much fun to work with. And if you're scared to wear them or use them because of them being loose, then you can wet them down and make them more metallic looking and it's a lot easier to, um, to work with. So I'm gonna just take this pink and I'm just going to start patting it in. Now because it is wet, it does come out a little bit thicker, so you might need to pat your finger in to soften it and you don't have any chunks. Before this dries, take a little bit of the dry pigment and apply it over the top. And if you need, you can just kind of blend all the sparkles out of the crease. And now for this inner corner, as you can tell, it's kind of lighter. I added this Makeup Geek pigment, it's called Afterglow. And I did the same thing. I foiled it and then I put it in the inner corner and blended it out with my finger. You just pat it in this inner corner and it'll look really crazy at first. Until you take your finger and blend it out. And if it comes off as really strong metallic, you can go back in with your pink brush, blend it out, and then take a little bit more of that pink pigment and put it over the top, just to blend it in a bit more so it's not so cray cray. I'm going to mix this yellowy color with this pink to make it a little bit of a soft skin tone color. And I'm gonna use that in the crease to blend it out a bit so it's not so high up or so crazy. Since she has a, a thickened lash line, I'm gonna emulate that by drawing a black line across the upper lid. Got eyeshadow and pigment all over, look at that. I'm a hot mess here. I'm gonna take this smudging liner brush and just push that into the lash line. And if you need to make it a little bit darker, you can take a, like a black liner like this, liquid liner, and just some opacity and then finally you can take your stiff dome fluffy brush and just kind of push the dark liner in, into this outer crease area just to smoke it out of here and then you can go in with your favorite mascara and apply some false lashes I'm gonna go ahead and apply um, the Urban Decay perversion mascara this is something I am trying out so if you want to review let me know and there we go for lashes. You can apply falsies if you want. I'm going to not apply them just because 
I've got a lot of mascara on. If you want to use false lashes and you want it to look as close to Katie's look as possible, I would go with a natural pair of lashes, a full strip, and that should suffice. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up this awful fallout and then I'm going to apply um, some foundation and then I'll show you the rest of the makeup look. Okay, so I've applied my foundation and concealer and some highlighter and all the good stuff. Next thing I, I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to that tan colored blush color and a large fluffy brush and I'm going to apply it just on the outer cheek area just to give it a little bit of a warm blushy color just like she has in the video. For the eyebrows, you can try the blonde look if you want. You can cover it up with a yellow base concealer like Lemonade from Benefit. Um, I'll show you what that looks like here. So if you like it, go ahead and do that. For me personally, um, I'm not going to do that here. I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows normally. And to do that, I'm just going to take an eyebrow pencil and fill them in. So I'll be back. And finally, to finish off the look, I'm going to replicate her coral reddish colored lip. And I'm going to use a wet n wild lipstick and this one is called Salsa Lessons. Look, that's how we do. Do 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 do. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this video and um, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe because that would totally make my day. So, um... Yeah, please let me know if there's anything else you would like to see, any other celebrity looks, magazine, promos, whatever, you know what it is. Uh, just let me know in the comments what you would like to see next, and uh, yeah, stay electric, guys. Love you guys. Bye. Kisses and peace. <laughs> Bye. This is how we deal, and I'll see you. Yeah. I made a big mess here doing this look, but it's so worth it.